Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. In this video, I'm going over my MLB Price Picks plays for today. We, As you can see, we have a full board out. Normally, there's only like four or five props or four or five different boards posted for MLB when I make the videos in the morning. But today, we got lucky we got the full board. So let's go ahead and get into it. Take advantage of that. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it with the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out Twitter for updates for props and parlays and stuff if you play there. If you play any of those on Sportsbooks. Uh, you can check out the website down below if you want to join for football, which is starting in less than a month, regular season. And let's get started today. So the first prop I want to give you guys is a actually a walk prop. And give me the under one and a half walks on Aaron Nola. If you look at the stats for this number, you're going to be very happy. Looking over on DraftKings, uh, Nola's made 22 starts this season. If you go through each start, he's hit the under one and a half walks in 18 of the 22. So he missed it against the Nationals. Keep scrolling. He missed it against the Padres back at the end of June. He missed it against the Dodgers in May. And he missed it against the Mets in the second game of the season. Uh, but he hit it in both of the other two games against the Mets. So two out of three so far in the three games against the Mets. Giving up four walks in 16 innings. But in terms of his 22 starts, he's hit this under one and a half walks in 18 of 22 starts. Which is a crazy 81.8% hit rate on the props. So you got to lock him in as one of my favorite props under one and a half walks today uh some strikeout props that look appealing would be starting with tristan mckenzie over five strikeouts uh, look at his game log here on whatever site you want to look at on uh, but he's been hitting the over five strikeouts the majority of his starts recently he's been pitching really well going deep into games you see a lot of games with six seven eight innings uh so if you go through the last 11 appearances hit 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 Missed, hit, uh, so it's been three, four, four out of six. It's four out of his most recent six starts. Keep going. It look, gets even better. Six out of eight. Uh, push here. So it's eight, ten, and one, or eight, uh, eight, two, and one in terms of hitting, missing, and a, a tie there. And missed it here against the, the Orioles back in June. Hit it against the, the Tigers. But recently, if you look back at his... Last 11, 12 starts, it's been a very high hit rate. So in his last um, 11 starts, he's hit this eight times. So it's 80% hit rate uh, with one push mixed in there and just two misses. And looking at the Blue Jays lineup, lots of right-handed bats in there. McKenzie overall has been a little bit better with the strikeouts against lefties, but I still think you can take advantage of this number. Worst case, in my opinion, would be a push. Uh, but the Blue Jays do have some guys that will K just with how powerful the lineup is. Some of those guys strike out or home run for a lot of them. Another strikeout prop that I really like is over 7.5 strikeouts on Mr. Corbin Burns. I uh, love this number. I think it's going to get bumped up to 8 very soon. If you look at Corbin Burns' game log, he's been immaculate against the Cardinals this season. 14 innings, just 4 hits allowed, 0 runs, um, obviously 0 home runs. Uh, just three walks in 14 innings, and he has 21 strikeout rates. He had a 10 strikeout game against the Cardinals and an 11 strikeout game against the Cardinals, and I definitely think he's going to continue to just dominate. He's been great recently going deep into games. He's had a bunch of strikeouts all throughout the season, up to 175 strikeouts in 136, and 21 of those were against the Redbirds and went was basically like um, did it was flawless in those two performances, so... Love the over 7.5 strikeouts. Going to be taking the over uh, for sure on sportsbooks with that number. You have some other decent ones down here with like maybe Wainwright, maybe Montas, but he's been struggling so far. Uh, but matter of time before he kind of gets back to himself, still adjusting to being on the Yankees, I would assume. And then the last two are going to be an RBI and a run scored prop. So give me the over half an RBI on Manny Machado. He's going up against Anibal Sanchez in his last 10 games. He's batting 350. He has nine RBIs in his last 10 games. A lot of those have come recently with uh, seven RBIs in his last three games, but he's just been crushing it, the ball. And great matchup to continue that against Anibal Sanchez on the season. Sanchez has been getting crushed against righties. He's giving up a 354 batting average, a 667 slugging percentage, a 10.03 uh, FIP, and a 6.54 XFIP. Just a 14% strikeout rate, same exact rate as his walk rate, and a 4.09 home runs per nine. So a good chance Machado can hit this by just hitting a home run. Uh, Padres will pile up the runs today. We'll be very shocked if they get uh, limited on the runs today against Sanchez. And that bullpen, 
And then the last prop is going to be Profar batting leadoff for them over RBI, half an RBI for him. I mean, half a run scored. It's been three straight games with the run scored for him and going to be batting leadoff. Good chance to get five at-bats here against Sanchez and that poor bullpen. So I think the Padres will continue piling up the runs. Might as well go with Machado and Profar, two guys batting you know, in the top four of the lineup to do some damage and hopefully... Machado gets an RBI and Profar gets a run scored. But feel great about Burns. Feel great about Nola. And I love the uh, McKenzie play in terms of first inning runs. I like the under in the first game. Marlins, Braves. I think you can also consider the under in the second game, uh, the doubleheader. And then another one could be the Angels, Twins, Nerfy. Otherwise, there's some other ones you can consider, like the Blue Jays, Guardians. But those would be the ones that I feel the most confident with. And then maybe even the Mariners one you can consider. But that's it for the video. Under half a wa- under one and a half walks and Aaron Nola over five strikeouts. McKenzie over seven and a half strikeouts. Corbin Burns and over half an RBI. Machado and over half an RB half a run scored for Profar. Best of luck today. Hope you guys make some money, and I will see you all next time.